How are you doing? I'm on something good. Feels big like a dollar. Yeah, it's fighting all the way up. No way. Oh my god. I got a Monchong. <laughs> Dude. Dude! It's early. We uh, we have actually sent it at three or four thirty a.m. It is nighttime, officially nighttime. We uh, you can't see me, you can see my headlamp, but uh, we're out here in the dark. We have lit ourselves up so we don't get hit by a boat. Um, yeah, we'll actually we'll see. We're going to go out deep, deep, and <laughs> drop. So we're we're going for bottom fish. We want onaga. Or opaka. Or nagapaka. Hindai. That's what we're going for. So we're going to try that early and then we might go for bait and try for pelagics after. But uh, we, we, got our, we got our bottom setups. So we're, we're going for it. Okay. So it's not a trophy by any means, but look at this thing. straight up came up from the depths so deep I don't even know what it is it didn't really fight and I'm also using I'm using two pounds so I couldn't feel any fight even if there was one I just saw it I'm like what the heck it's not my bait new species for me no idea such a weird fish weird stuff at night weird stuff at night How are you doing? I'm on something good. Nice. Kohala? Could be. Feels big like a collar. No. Yeah, it's fighting all the way up. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. You got one? I got a Monchong. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah! That's what Congratulations, Ryan! My goodness. Dude! Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. There's no way. There's no fucking way this ha just happened. That's so legendary, dude. I'm in shock. I'm in shock, dude. This has to be the coolest thing I've ever caught ever off the kayak. Like, the most absurd, coolest thing I've ever caught. This is insane. How big is it? Is it worth you, Taku? Wow, wow, off the kayak. I literally just caught a palm fret off the kayak.
I can honestly say, I don't know if that has ever been done. Um, please We're leave. So cool as we haven't even started the fishing day yet. Please, please leave in the comments if you know anyone ever that has caught a monchong rod and reel off of a kayak. I know that's pretty much the only way to do it off of a kayak. I know people catch them like long lining, commercial fishing, that sort of thing, but like a sickle palm fret off of a kayak, shore launched. Like what? I don't know anything more absurd than that. I wasn't even expecting it. I'm kind of losing my mind. I'm in shock. My knees, so cool. my knees are shaking because like I think that has to be the coolest thing I have ever caught off the kayak. Pretty much. I don't know. That's just absurd. It's crazy. I, I didn't expect that one bit. Oh my gosh. Would you have been able to recognize it? Probably not. This is my mom's favorite fish ever. Like I, I, she said, can you get a monchong on that jigging rod? And I said, probably not, but theoretically. Decent little ahu. Bro, this thing is a monster. Like, you gotta come up over here and just see it. He's, he's not swimming down, he's stuck. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, that's him? Well, I chopped up an akule for bait here. <laughs> Reef donkey. Yeah, that thing's a tank, huh? Yeah. Yeah, like that. Shit, dude, we're 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 out of here. I was gonna try to send him. I grabbed his tail and tried to send him down, but I just saw a big shark underneath him. <laughs> dropping, dropping. You'll see new parts of your reel that you've never seen before when you're dropping down here. Your line will get so far down. I think I'm on. I think I'm on too, it feels small. Me too. I checked a few of them. How's it going? Uh, How's it going? Yeah, you're smiling. Why are you smiling? You got fish? <laughs> Weird ones. Weird one. Oh, you were bottoming? Yeah. What'd you get? I, you're not going to believe me, but I caught a monchong. Oh, you got a monchong? I caught a monchong. How do you do what you do, man? Two pounds of lead and a lot of cranking power. Like a monchong? Yeah, I've heard of like two caught off a kayak ever. Okay, yeah. Show so, me. I want to 
Honestly, I don't believe you. I think it's a, I think it's a Budaguchi. <laughs> don't drop it. Very <laughs> run the Oh no, that's an endangered fish. I'm gonna have to come here, here. Let me get a picture. Let me get a picture. That's an endangered fish, dude. I'm gonna have to confiscate that from you. Oh yeah. Bro, are you kidding? Yes, uh, ho. The pelagics are not around though. Really? You so you had bait out? Yeah, we. Is that on the jig or is that on bait? This is on bait. I also caught a snake mackerel. Oh, did you? The little weird. I that thing. I'll drop that back down. <laughs> It is tiny. I don't know what to think of this thing. We're gonna try to eat it. Look at the colors that are on it still. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, it had like a huge sail on it. Yeah, it's a type yeah. of escolar. Ow. Holy oh, crap. God. That drew blood. <laughs> oh, God. He's vicious. You should see his teeth. That's that that. little sail. Look at his teeth, though. Ugh. We're really gonna eat this thing? I don't know about that. He's like a vampire. I don't know. Black mouth, look at that. Dude, that's actually pretty sweet. <laughs> How about we go like this real quick? Yeah, that's the... Alrighty. We, this guy's been sitting on ice for like two and a half days now. So he's probably lost a lot of weight, but I'm still gonna weigh him to see what we think he is around. Wanted to wait until he got the Giyutaku to print made, and then my roommate got back so he can help fillet it, because I don't think we're ever going to get another one of these. But we're going to try, <laughs> eventually. Oh, it looks even cooler after it's aged. It's like it's lost a little more black or something and silver. It's definitely, like... They lose, they lose a lot of their water weight. But like, that's not like part of the meat. My guess was a little over 10 initially. Yeah, you wanna throw that on the scale there? You got the camera in one hand. How's this lighting? Not great, because we're in the shadow, but maybe we scoot it over just a tiny bit so the fish is in the light. There we go. That's a little better, isn't it? Look at that guy. Such a dirt. He was over there, hum nom nom. That eye is just insane, dude. Yeah, so it's 10.4 on the scale after sitting in ice for three days, so yeah, a little over 10 probably, you know? That thing is cool, yeah. Look at this little round face he's got. He's just a derp. This is such a cool catch. And these fins were huge. Those are. Like, this is probably how he swims the way he does. Which is like, they swim upright in the water column, like vertical. Okay. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah, look at that bone right there. Whoa, look at his forehead bone, yeah. Cut, cut down the gut cavity. Look at that. That was good. And I'll poke it through. Out like that. Boom. Bubba goes to work. 
on the bones too. Voila. Dude, that's pretty good. Thanks, man. Come on, Derp chong. Come back for the sailfish. But yeah, this these are bones. Those are bones? That's not muscle. Feel it. Right here. <laughs> sailfish didn't have bones like that. Bo the sailfish had like muscle oh. that did that. This fish is really cool. We're gonna lose a little meat on this. That's fine. Like we knew that it wasn't gonna have the huge, like a huge yield because it's only, after all, a little over 10 pounds. I'm just going to take this. Yeah. Scales are vicious. Yeah, they're crazy. It'll be really easy to go like this when you're doing that. Yeah, well. The anatomy is insane. Yeah. Like, look, how there's like two different bone structures here. Big scaly fish are actually the ones I'm good at. Perfect. Oh, I like that primo cut. See, this is the this is the perfect combo I found for flaying like the fish like this. I like having both of the knives for different cuts. Like I like the tailbone cut on this. I like the rit or like the touching up with this. But then I like the big cut the Bubba can do. Like this next cut you're about to make, the Bubba just going all the way down. That is it. And that's also the most satisfying cut. It is. We get right down the back. Yeah, you gotta get those out of the way. <laughs> yeah. I noticed my fillets got so much better when I started using this to do that. Just this one cut because if you're sawing away with that, then you get the little cuts in it, and it doesn't look nearly as good. Mm -hmm. This thing, because it's thick like that, it can just go one big loin. I just need to go like this. <laughs> Did you hear what Alex Snyderman called it? What's that? He goes, Connor found the deep water crappy school. Because <laughs> they look a little like, the scales look a little like crappy, but bigger. Yeah. He's right. If it's on the same standard as like how good crappy tastes relative to their fishery, <laughs> then we're in a, in a treat. Because crappy are easily one of the best fresh water. Nice. Well, if we did that Maldives trip, like, we could probably get these guys on a jig. <laughs> Look at you go. Someone's warming up to the idea. No, no, no. That's an Alex, Alex statement right there. So I. What do you do? Salt, pepper, butter? Salt, pepper, butter. Keeping it super simple so we can get the flavor more of the fish. Cold, cold. Sauce, parsley. Nice. Mm -hmm. 